In my opinion, every industry needs better quality contracts. Every industry. For the federal government. I'm not going to say that's true in the private sector. Every industry in the federal government needs better quality contractors. Every industry. IT, R&D, construction, management consulting. I mean, program management, program development, systems management. Every industry. I mean, if the government contractors in most cases are just as bad as the government themselves, they become complacent because if you're always getting the contracts, then do you really have to work that hard anymore? So there's a lot of areas in which they can improve, and there, but there's no reason for them to because of their sheer size. And they're presumed to be the winners in most instances. And I'm referring to the, like the big boys, not the people that we're talking about. But even at our levels, and you know, I'll go back to pick on Maria because I know a lot of her stories. <laughs> <laughs> you know, then your Coast Guard have electrical contract out there that was very cozy. Yeah, they called me because they told me. That's how everything started snowballing. He's like, I think that guy's ripping us off. He's like, he's been here so long, he think he could give us any prize. So they just wanted somebody else's prize so they to could start comparing them. them. And that's what I see. That's what happened with SpaceX. Anybody that's on my email list, you saw the email a long time ago I sent from SpaceX. They were trying to break into the, the spaceship satellite market. The government wouldn't let them in. Boeing wouldn't let them in. And they had to sue the government to break in because – the government's requirement when SpaceX wanted to get into the market was you had to have successfully launched a rocket. Who in the hell did that? <laughs> How can that be a prerequisite? <laughs> like, where am I going to launch a rocket from, dude? <laughs> like, that was a prereq to be able to, to qualify for the contracts. Like, you had to have successfully launched a rocket. And it, it was unfair, it was unreasonable. And the big guys lobbied to keep it that way. And he said, this is BS. And that if the U.S. does not find a way to cut costs for sending rockets to space, we will never have a full-blown program and will never be a leader in the world. And he sued the government. So, you know, what I'm saying, not to diverge too much, is that we believe because these people are, exist. Okay, I'll go back to another guy I had a call with. Last week, he worked for Booz Allen Hamilton. His VP worked for SAIC. You look them up. They're all, you know, everyone knows Booz Allen. They're a top 50 DOD company. SAIC, top 50 DOD as well. He was on their team, really smart, savvy guy out of India. And he said that they were billing the government three to 400000 a month. And no one on the team could explain what they were actually delivering. He couldn't explain. He goes, he couldn't explain their program or what they were even actually doing. Because what is our, what are we delivering to the government? What? No one could explain it. They had just been charging. Them. Boom, boom. And so he left and started his own consulting company. You know, the point is that's happening everywhere. Once you get to the program manager level, you'll realize that they're not very happy with the people that they have. And so, you know, it's up to us to, you know, like say, hey, I'm great, I'm good, you know, wave your flag, say you're out here, you're working, like I exist, I'm going to do better services. You know, same thing, Chris, you say to us, right? It's like, hey, I'm going to give you a good quality service, give me, you know, trust me, I'll get it done, blah, 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 all that kind of stuff. Like, that's what people are looking for. How do you get to that? Like, if you don't have a toe, like I know you said, look for any like little toe hold or foothold. Is there a way to like penetrate to that? Like, yeah, I mean, to... the people like, okay, and let's say Crowley Logistics, right? Who gave Crowley their contract? I think DOD. It's got DOD is very broad. You gotta get down. No, 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 no. There's an office okay. that that contract came out of. Okay. You get tell me the office. 
You got right. We get the office. You find out who's in charge. You call the person who's in charge out of D.C. who regulates them for compliance and their goals. And that person will put you in contact with the person that you need to talk to to find out how you can get on that. So you, you come from the top. Oh, I come from the side. I come from the top. <laughs> I, one, of the things, <laughs> one of the things I say, Chris, is if you start at the, like, say, let's say you call the office, right? Where, let's say, okay. probably got their contract out of Denver. And you get no response. Like, I tried to penetrate. I tried. No one responded. Then I say, go to D.C. D.C., the people pick up the phone. Hmm. I have never, never not had a return phone call from D.C. Never. Never. Wow. With a hun- I'm talking about 100%. They call you back. No one, everyone's afraid to call them. <laughs> And they're afraid not to call back. I mean, I think that's the case, Chris. I'll be honest with you. I think because you're now, you're like the last spot, I guess, where it's supposed to stop. So they respond. I'm telling you, you guys haven't tried it. You haven't tried it. I promise you. Call, you tell me, if you, if you tell me who's in charge, Chris, where they got the contract out of that office, we'll get on the phone together and reach out. And then we'll call DC and reach out. Okay. I'll do it with I'm, you. I'm going to take up. I'm going to take you up on that. Ask Maria. She know I'll call him. <laughs> Chris, I make this a game. <laughs> I love it. I, love I still it. remember the first video that I saw from him is how he picks up the phone. He's teaching us. It's a YouTube video. He's teaching us something online to reach out to the primes to see if they're sub because they just want a contract and in the video he goes hi mr robert kelly i still remember the guy's name and i'm like did you really call them he's like yeah and he's like yeah i saw you just want a contract and i was seeing you needed help i don't think he was ready for the guy to say yes though he's like yeah yeah i am i'm actually looking for one no i wasn't (laughs) right no you're right chris i was not ready for him to say yes i was doing it for someone like yourself who was telling me that crap that oh eric you know, I could do this work. I'm like, well, did you call the guy? No. Um, I said, I told you to call the guy. Did you call? Why didn't you call him? Well, you know, he start running around in circles. I go, all right, fine. I'm going to call the guy just to prove that that's what it took. That's all it took. It's very easy to be comfortable to sit back and, you know, go through digging, right? And look, but... Chris, we got to call the people. We have to call the people. We got to call the people. We got to call the people. <laughs> we got to call them. <laughs> like, how do they know you, Chris? How do they, They're never going to know you if you don't call. That's, I mean, that's just, you've probably, by calling them, you've jumped past like 85% of, the, of folks out there who won't call. And who won't be known. Like there'll, be a, there'll be no name. A bit in people. <laughs> I've tried, I've called like Crowley and some people at the DOD, no, but I definitely never. Not I definitely Crowley. do not call DC. You call DOD. If okay, if you go in, I get you. I don't tell you to call DOD. I tell you to find the contracting office where the contract came out of. You have to mm-hmm. find the code, Maria. What are them? She know them codes. You got to find the code where they write those contracts and you call that gives you takes you back to an office. You call that gotcha. office. Hey, GovCon Giants family. This is Eric Coffey. I'd like to tell you about a new membership option that YouTube has created and that we here at GovCon Giants TV are taking advantage of. If you notice on our screen, you'll see a button that says join. When you click the join button, you'll see different options for people at different price levels, whatever suits your fancy. 